Hi Smarties! Miss Failing again! Um, time for writing! So I just posted the reading um, activity so hopefully you got that and now I'm going to give you your writing lesson for today. Your writing lesson for today isn't super long. Um, I did that because I kind of got a late start as to uploading these videos. Uh, it took me some time to figure out because I'm new to this so hang in there with me. Um, but yes, your writing lesson today, I do want you writing. I'm just going to go right back to the basics. Um, we are going to do just practice with writing sentences. Um, two sentences for today. I want you to, you're going to have to have another piece of paper. Um, so make sure you have a blank piece of paper. We're going to pretend this is like our whiteboard, our slate. When we use our slate, our marker and eraser. And way back in the beginning of the year when we first started learning about writing sentences, we did it, and sometimes we do it for practice now too, um, like Ebly for writing, where you take your slate, okay, your paper or if you have a whiteboard at home um, use it that would be awesome if you have it otherwise a piece of paper works fine again my yellow paper um, I will have white paper tomorrow actually I'm gonna have my slate tomorrow so I'll be able to use that instead of paper but I want you to take that piece of paper or whatever you're using and I want you to cut it in half okay same thing like we do in the classroom cut it in half all right on the top I want you to label the top picture and on the bottom is where you're going to write your sentences. So picture and now you're set and ready to go. What I want you to do is I want you to take a second, close your eyes and I want you to come up with two sentences, one at a time. The sentences can either be together, like one, to one topic or you can do two separate sentences. Um, it's your choice, but I want you to do two senten sentences total. On the bottom is where you're going to write your sentences. If you need to draw a line to help you, please do that. Do whatever works for you. Okay, so what I want you to think of, and before I continue, I want you to think of your writing checklist. You can even make, like we have it in the classroom, you can even make a little one for you to keep at the spot that you're doing your work at. So, my writing checklist is C. Hopefully you said capital letters. U, usage, remember your verbs and your nouns. P, punctuation. Don't forget it. And S. Spelling, spaces, say as I write. Okay, so don't forget your writing checklist, especially the C, capital letters, and especially the P. So, so important. So, you're going to come up with two sentences. I want you to do your, it's, it's your choice. You can either do your picture first, or you can do your sentences first. Okay, I'm letting you pick. So, I did this. Okay, I chose to write a sentence first before I do my picture. Like I said, if you need help to kind of come up with a sentence, then draw a picture. Maybe it's what you're feeling. Maybe it's what you did today. So come up with a picture, or if you know the sentences that you want to write, do your sentences first. So I just did one for an example. And um, my sentence says, Bruno and Daisy May ate the green grass while the sun was shining bright. Okay, so that's my first sentence. Of course, Bruno and Daisy May are our horses. So I decided I was sitting here thinking of a sentence and I happened to look outside and there's Bruno and Daisy May in the pasture eating grass. That's how I came up with my sentence. So you can even see right over here, I wrote cups for a reminder, but you're not done yet. I have a job that you need to do. After you write your two sentences, so you come up with one sentence and then you come up with your second sentence. So you see one, two, okay? Then, or if you did your picture first, maybe you want to divide your spot up here for your picture in half and you can do one sentence of your picture and then your second picture for your second sentence. Um, you're not done yet. I then want you to circle all of the nouns in your
your sentence. Hmm, what is a noun? I know, let's do our chant. It's been a while since we've done our chant. So get your hands ready, hopefully your legs are ready, and let's do our noun chant. Ready, go. Person, place, animal, thing. Person, place, animal, thing. Person, place, animal, thing. Something you can touch. A noun. Okay, so refresher. A noun. In your sentence, you're going to read your sentence back to yourself, and you're going to circle all of the nouns. So I'm going to start my sentence. Bruno. Hmm, think. Is that a person? No. Is that a place? No. Person, place. Animal? He is. He's a horse. So I circled Bruno. Next word, and Daisy May. Yep, Daisy May's a horse. Got a circle. Okay, that's an animal. Eight. Eight. No, that's a verb because you can do it. A verb, a verb. You can do it, do it, do it. Okay, so Daisy Eight is not a noun. Left it blank. The green. Nope, green's not a noun. Grass. Wait, hmm. grass. I can touch grass, therefore it's a thing. So I circled grass while the sun was shining bright. And the sun is a thing. You don't want to touch the sun. Whew, you burn. But the sun is a thing, so you are going to circle it. It is a noun. And shining, nope, bright. Okay, and then look, can't forget it. Got my punctuation mark. Okay, my period at the end of my sentence, and sure did, because every sentence in the whole wide world begins with a capital letter. Okay, so got my capital letter. So I checked cups, got it. Um, then the next thing you have to do, you're going to circle all of the nouns, and you're going to underline the adjectives. Again, been on spring break for a while. What is an adjective? Think about it. What is an adjective? There are juicy words is what we call them. Think about your five senses. Okay. What is an adjective? Hopefully, you think, oh yeah, an adjective describes something. Describes a noun. Okay, that's why we think of our five senses. What does something smell like? What does something feel like? What does something taste like? What does it look like? Is it bright? Is it dark? Okay, those are adjectives. So you're going to underline, and hopefully you have adjectives in your sentence. Don't forget them. Okay, here's your, your hints. You need adjectives. But I have some adjectives in my sentence. I underlined green. I could have just put grass in there, but I needed, I wanted to make it a little more interesting, so I put green grass. So I'm going to underline green because that's an adjective. And I'm going to underline bright because the sun is really bright. Okay, it's describing the sun. Where is it at? There it is. Okay, it was shining bright. It's describing the sun. So I got two adjectives. I'm going to underline both of those, and I think that's all I have for adjectives. Okay, so that's what you need to do after you write your sentences. So if you decide to do your picture first, great. Remember, we only spend about five minutes on a picture. It's a quick sketch to kind of get your thoughts down on your paper. And then really, the whole idea of this lesson is I want to see your two sentences. Okay, you get to draw on your reading lesson a picture. You get to sketch in here. Remember, set the timer, okay, for yourself. Quick. Sketch of a picture to get your thoughts down and then go right into your sentences. Or if you do your sentences first, okay, make sure you check your sentences. Make sure you can read your sentences. All right, check for cups. Do your circling of the nouns, underlining the adjectives. And then I want you to go show this to mom, dad, grandma, whoever is there with you. And I want you to read both of your sentences to them. And I want you to explain what a noun is and what an adjective is. Okay? So, like 
I said, you have this. Um, you can pause me at any time. You can go back into the video and listen to something again. But I need you to do that. And then again, if you want me to see it, Okay, have them take a picture and send it to me, and I can check your writing. But I'm really going to pay attention to cups. Paying attention for those capitals, those punctuation marks, and really what your nouns and adjectives were. Okay, so that is your writing lesson for today. Don't spend a lot of time on the picture. Um, I really want to see their sentences. And make sure you come back after writing for your math lesson. That's our last lesson for today is math. So have fun. Get your writing caps on. Remember authors when we write we need a quiet space to help us think. So have fun writing and I can't wait to see your sentences.